Oh, there it goes. It's gonna get in that high line. All this will look way different tomorrow. I just got the call that it is a go time, which is super exciting. No betting. <clears throat> I open the door for 30 seconds and you just jump in here like you own it. What's the deal, buddy? Ain't nothing in there for you. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Had to break down and finally get a big water tank. Got a Hastings tub here local from a feed store. I'm sure my wife will be happy. Hastings is uh, in Nebraska. You guys don't already know that my wife is from nebraska so i'm sure she appreciates the hastings nebraska water tank um i lost it on the way over here had to uh i pulled over and luckily somebody came out from a store and helped me put it back on but uh strapped it down a little better this time also sam you guys may know sam uh shop one of my former students and football players from texas came up and uh, he helped me build the office and some uh, stuff on the inside. He uh, is now running his own welding company. And uh, he came up and uh, is getting some work done. Let's show you what he's doing. So it was really nice to have Sam come up and help. And we wanted to get this front entry done. So what we did was the first thing is we took off this very first eight foot section of the combo panel attached to a two and three eighths pipe. Sam cut it out with a cutting torch. We got both sections down. And then after that, what we decided to do was use a square tubing. We used two inch square tubing to basically kind of finish out and transition from the, uh, uh, from the combo panels with the two and three eighths pipe into a square tubing look that ties into our six inch uprights, which you see here is our main entry into the ponderosa so we used the two inch square tubing to really finish and we use four of those joints to come across so we use four eight foot joints to tie into the six inch square tubing and make it kind of look like a neat little finish but i'm very appreciative of sam he's a very very good young hard worker and is very detailed in his work and i really appreciate that very blessed to have him come up here and help that we can keep this relationship going and uh, he will be back i promise and you'll see more of sam but um he he does a great job and i'm proud of him and i'm glad he's started his own business wish him the best of luck all right so now we're gonna pull the truck through here and I'm gonna set this water tank up where the yearlings have access to it and uh, where I have rural water. And I, I've got a spigot on the west side of this barn uh, and uh, we can run a hose off of it and use our rural water. And uh, I just, it's rough here right now and uh, the pond's getting too low. And I, since I moved the yearlings to pasture one, they need good water and you got 22 animals together they drink a lot of water and so i had to finally break down and get this two foot by eight foot water tank so let's go hook it up and put some water out for them thor just go ahead and put some holes in the in the hose if you would please thanks Jeez. get her hooked up I have snapped off a lot of fresh fish fossils in my day. What? Really? Yeah, on accident. <laughs> Back in the What did you snap off? Down underground. Oh. Where it where it lets all the water out. Yep. So I've gotten really good at putting new ones in. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to put them in too. All right. Well, here's our hose. <clears throat> Boing, bring. Bring. out to I just put it right out to here, I guess, is what I was thinking. They're over there. Somewhere. We'll just put it right here. Next to the barn.
Yeah, so we can get this bad boy unstrapped. Yeah. So there's the pond that they have access to and it's just getting a little too low. And uh, just like I've mentioned before, they poop and pee in it, and play in it, roll around in it. And Now we've got a two by eight, two by eight water. Let's see, does it say how many gallons yeah. it is? Not that I can see. Hmm. I don't know, it's hard to use it. I know they're gonna get in it, that is a bad problem. Let's go ahead and fill her up. What are you doing, Thor? Hey, buddy. Get this elbows. Hey, let me borrow this. Bro! Oh, coming in hot! You wanna need to find a piece of wire? Yeah, I guess we need to probably pull it back through there, huh? They're right over there. Yeah, we can go look at them. Big, big tank. Well, got a, Sam helped me get the tank filled up. I had to run and go get Brooks, but it is full. I need to figure out actually how many gallons this is because this is a two by eight. I need to uh, figure out the gallons and they told me, but I forgot when, uh, when, I, was, when I purchased it, but it's needed. It's, uh, I have three, I've been using three like 85 pound troughs and that just has, takes a long time and stuff. So. They're probably gonna get in it, but uh, you know, that's just part of it with yearlings and whatnot. So that's okay. It won't take them long to figure this out. It, uh, they can they can smell the water, especially the fresh water. So, so um, real quick, I just got a phone call from the guys I've been working with, with the NRCS and, and a couple other, another guy, part of a, another program um, that do these prescribed burns. I just got the call that it is a go time, which is super exciting. I've been, telling you about this and lean you up into it but it is a go time for the fire um, that we're burning uh, approximately close to 80 acres not quite 80 acres but um, in a couple of days we're going to light it up and i just got the phone call that the wind is supposed to come out of the northeast and the humidity and everything is right for a burn here in a couple of days uh, the weather is right humidity is right the wind is right and so he said, uh, we need to get it. And this is our window of opportunity and you got to take it. So I'm calling around and getting help and making sure I've, I've told my, uh, some family members about this. And I've told some of my friends about this to get ready for this. And because uh, I knew they'd want to be a part of it. And because this is fun, you get to burn it. It's prescribed burn. It's a professionally ran prescribed burn. I didn't draw the unit up. I uh, I just did all the the back leg work to, to get it ready, uh, which is brush hogging and the fence line or the brush hogging the fire lines and clearing out some cedar. So what that means is I got to get ready. I got to go actually clear some more cedar, push some blackberries down for our fence uh, for our fire break, get all that prepared and ready to go um, for we got two days. I got two days to finish all that. Actually, I got I got one day to do all this because um, I just got the call just a little bit ago to get this thing all completely ready to go. Um, we're gonna have a water tank here and I'm gonna have people here. So got some organization to do um, with the help of the NRCS. I'm gonna get to work on getting this all prepped and ready uh, for Friday. And uh, we're gonna get after it Friday morning. So stay tuned for that guys. It should be fun. There is a lot of fuel. Thank you. There is a lot of fuel in this, you know, 70 ish acres uh, some cedar we're going to get rid of which is exciting 
and uh, it's hot and dry here so the the conditions will be just perfect for a good good hot burn and that's what we want is to we want to start rejuvenating the land and uh, creating a different culture here on this property so let's get to work
All right, guys, since I got the call, I've been hustling a little bit, but uh, got the skid steer up here on the hill. It's a pretty view, actually. I just cleared out a bunch of cedar right here behind me, and uh, you got this nice view. But here you can uh, you can see the fire break that I did. It's uh, probably at least, I don't know, close to 18 to 20 feet wide. Took my neighbor's a brush hog, Richard Thomason, uh, and went through here twice. Went down this lane, made it really wide. This is where we'll actually light the fire, is on this south end. So the idea is the wind to come from the uh, northeast, which is projected tomorrow, and uh, go that way, which is the opposite of the highway. So it's going to blow down into that corner right there is the goal. And I uh, talked to um, the guys that are in coordination with this, a guy named Cole. His name's Cole. Not Cole Meager, the same guy that helps me, my good buddy. That helps me out here around the ranch but uh cole and ethan you may hear me mention those names and you may see them in the upcoming video of this burn that's about to happen but they said conditions are still good and it's set up for success so you got to take that small window of opportunity since we got a north wind which we don't always get those right now and and get the green light to go so that's what we're gonna do um just cleaning all this up here on the hill clearing a fire break so it'll go straight through right here behind me and head back to the east so very excited for this this is gonna do so many great things and the other thing about it is there's lots of people coming to help on this people that have done this before some of my friends got some family coming out here to help on this it's gonna be an awesome event and uh this is great for the land that's why we're doing it and ultimately for the bison as well and other wildlife here on the ranch so all this will look way different tomorrow. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna film from right here so you guys can see um, the before and after, really the after. It will be very black, let's just say, and hope so. And um, But I'm gonna clean out some more of this. And uh, I've got the precision manufactured grapple out here. This thing is a beast and it's getting after it. And so I'm gonna push a lot of this stuff right here, get it out of the way and get this fire line ready. And uh, we'll be set tomorrow morning to get after it. So stay tuned guys. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna get in that high line. Where'd Ethan go? He's back here behind us.